everyone, I'm Natasha, and today I'm doing the Outlander book tag. Sing me a song of a lass that is gone. Say, could that lass be I? Mary of soul, she sailed on a day over the sea to sky. Below and breeze, islands and seas, mountains of rain and sun. All that was good, all that was fair, all that was near is gone. Sing me a song of a lass that is gone, say could that lass be I. Mary of soul, she sailed on a day over the sea to sky. Wow. Oh, it's been a good long while since I talked about Outlander on my channel. My best friend, Salsha Osberg, just created this tag and she tagged me in it because we both love Outlander so so much. Almost two years ago when Outlander premiered on Stars, I was sucked in. I watched the first episode and I had to read the book and I was just consumed with Jamie and Claire. I love this story so much. I read the first three novels. I'm definitely going to be reading Gems of Autumn. This one, this blue one right here. But now the second season has come back and we have been fully immersed back into Outlander. I haven't done a book tag in a long time. I've read a lot of things since I've done my last tag, so hopefully my answers will be a little different. Today I am Outlandered out. I have lots of Outlander things now that I own. For instance, these pearls, which my lovely friend Christine Riccio got for me in my last birthday. And then we have the Balvini Scotch bottle that I uh, got from the Outlander Paley Fest panel. There's a whole story on how I got this. This is the bottle that they all drink out of um, while they're on stage. I also have the Outlander flask. And then we have the Outlander book collection and the Outlander companion. And for some reason I have misplaced my pocket Jamie and I'm very sad. I'm gonna have to order a new one. There will be no spoilers from Outlander. I mean, just a little like basis for the questions, but you guys can all watch this video. It's gonna be super fun and hopefully I can encourage you guys to read it. Please read this book. It's one of my favorites. You touch some standing stones and you get transported back in time. <laughs> What year would you end up in? <laughs> I, mm, mm, ha. I, I don't know. <laughs> Claire gets transported 200 years back in time. So if it's 2016 now and I got transferred back in time 200 years ago, I would be in 1816, which <sighs> pretty sure I would go back to ancient Greece because I am Greek. And I've always been interested in that part of my culture and the world culture. Claire is a very, very good nurse, but what type of skill would you want that a fictional character excels at? I would not want to be a nurse, but I'm actually pretty good at that skill. I have a very accident prone mother that I've had to take care of um, all my years. And so I've gotten pretty good at being like a combat nurse. Like if for some reason we were thrown back into another world war, I would probably enter in as a nurse because I don't mind that stuff. In my life now, no, I don't want to be a nurse. I've always wanted to know code and be one of those like cool like computer girls who like types and create things like Felicity Smoke on Arrow. But a book, I would probably take Cress from the Lunar Chronicles. This is Winter, the last book in the Lunar Chronicles, and Cress has her own book. I'm not gonna get that out. She's pretty badass on the computer, so I would definitely steal her skills. Jamie and Claire are the ultimate relationship goals. Yes, Sasha, yes. Who is your favorite fictional couple? But seriously, um, God, I mean, Jamie and Claire, they're just so perfect. I, I mean, I'm gonna have to go with my ultimate ship and that's Captain Swan. I, I literally own so much merchandise of them, it's ridiculous. But they're my ultimate OTP, so, Captain Swan. The ending of Outlander was shocking. Hmm. Ah, Sasha, I have to disagree with you there because I think Dragonfly and Amber is way more shocking than Outlander. What is one book you read that totally blew your mind? And when she said this in her video, there was one book that just popped into my brain. And if you haven't read it yet, then you won't know. But I mean, I'm just, I'm going to have to go with uh, Golden Sun 
by Pierce Brown, if I can get it out. Okay, come on. This glorious novel, which is one of my favorite books of all time, read it! Scotland has lots of castles and we see a few in Outlander. What fictional kingdom that has a castle in it would you want to live in? Or that doesn't have a castle in it, whatever, because I can't think of one. Lots of people go with Harry Potter all the time. I think I would like to live in Middle Earth. I seem to always choose this world, but I would like to, you know, live with the woodland elves. Otherwise, all the other worlds that I read about are our own. Outlander has some very steamy scenes. What is your favorite romance novel? Well, I have a lot. Probably Ugly Love by Colleen Hoover. Like, that's still my favorite Colleen Hoover book. I read three of them now. I just read Me Before You, which was a wonderful, beautiful story. I also really love Attachments. Can You Keep a Secret by Sophie Kinsella, still one of my favorites. Ugly Love. That has to be it. Especially if Sasha's specifically asking about steamy scenes. Ugly love. The Jacobite Rebellion is a huge plot point in Outlander and in Dragonfly and Amber, the second one as well. What is one of your favorite battles from a book? Being as I just finished Morningstar and there is a battle in the last book that is just freaking epic, I have to go with that battle or the one in Golden Sun, which is pretty good too, but like they're both so good. You know a battle scene is really good when it's making you sweat and that's what happened when I was reading both Golden Sun and Morning Star, like sweating and clinching so many things. I have a full review on it on my channel. Jamie and Claire get married very unexpectedly. What fictional character would you like to marry on a whim? Ooh. Mm. I kind of want to go with Superman. I loved the cute scenes with him in Batman vs Superman with Lois Lane and I would love to be his Lois Lane. So I'm going to say Superman and Henry Cavill is like really hot. So Superman. Scotland is a very beautiful place. What fictional world would you love to visit? I want to go to Storybrooke. That's where I want to go. I so want to go to Storybrooke. From Once Upon a Time, all the fairy tale characters live there or go to the Enchanted Forest, but Storybrooke probably because Emma and Killian and Regina, they're all there. Like, oh my gosh. One of my top like bucket list things to do is to visit Stevestun right outside of Vancouver and that's where they film and the, where the city is of Storybrooke and I would just I would love to go there and just visit that place. Same thing with Forks. I would love to visit Forks where they film Twilight, you know, around Portland and everything. Oh, I really want to do that. And the last question, if you could change the past, would you? I guess she's probably referring to history's past because that's what Jamie and Claire kind of set out to do. I don't think so. Everything from the past is always heading towards a purpose so no i wouldn't change the past unless you know he wanted me to and to tag somebody i'm going to tag christine because right now she's listening to outlander finally it's been like a year and a half i want her to do it once she finishes the book because that would be a lot of fun also heather books should do it as well okay that about wraps it up for my outlander book tag thank you sasha for creating this and for tagging me it's good to talk about outlander again it's on tomorrow night and i'm so excited my saturday nights have become very eventful thank you guys all for watching give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already my name is natasha and i'll see you guys all in the future keep calm and fangirl on bye